Good evening, everybody. Well, I'm gonna give you a little update on our drought monitor. We are actually out of the drought as of right now. As of a couple days ago, you see it's updated. But what this means is that we are finally have that ground saturated due to those rains that we've had and the precipita precipitation falling on the ground and saturating those grounds. Parts of the states are still in the drought, but as of right now, our viewing area is not experiencing any of that drought. So for that drought, as you can see, we're gonna start to see uh, satellite radar. We are starting to see that cloud cover start to come in as we get into the overnight tonight. We could experience, or we're not gonna experience any rain. Some of that rain's gonna start making its way through the northern part of the state and in parts of Chicago up by Lake Michigan, as you can see, but we're not expecting any precipitation as we go through the night tonight. SkyTrack 4 right now is showing clear conditions, no precipitation, like I said. We did have temperatures up in the 40s a day. I think around 48 or 49 degrees was our daytime high today. So pretty nice, it was nice and clear, a little chilly out there for some viewers. We are below average temperatures at this time. As of right now though, we do have temperatures around 47 degrees here in Charleston, 46 in Champaign, 44 in Danville, and 44 down in Robinson also. Overnight tonight, we can expect temperatures to fall down to around 34 degrees. It's gonna be partly cloudy conditions. Winds out of the west around five to 10 miles an hour. It's a little cold out there. If you have anything planned in the morning, make sure you start your car and let it run for a little bit as temperatures are going to be around that freezing mark. Futurecast for tomorrow though is showing partly cloudy conditions. We will start to see that cloud cover start to break up as we get into the later half of the day. As you can see, uh, cloud coverage is gonna start to break up. Then we will end the day with clear conditions. So breakdown for tomorrow, we'd have temperatures topping out around 45 degrees. It will be windy tomorrow. We could have wind gusts up to around 20 miles an hour. We do have that daytime high around 3 p.m., around 45. To start the day off around 38 degrees. Going to be partly cloudy conditions. As you can see, partly cloudy conditions throughout the whole day. We're going to start to see it break up a little bit. Then we start to see temperatures starting to fall back into the upper 30s to end the day. Future cast for Sunday, though, we do have partly cloudy conditions again. Then we're going to start to pick up into cloudier conditions as we get into the later half of the day. Uh, northern part of the state or no, the viewing area could start to see some precipitation move in, but that's going to start to make its way up north. So no signif significant amount of rainfall. For the weekend preview, though, Saturday we do have partly cloudy and windy conditions. 45 is the daytime high, 53 on Sunday, partly cloudy conditions again, and then mostly cloudy on Monday with highs around 55 degrees. So like I said, we are that, below that average temperature around this time, around 60 degrees is the average temperature. And we are around that, we below that time, 55 on Monday. 49 on Tuesday, and then 42 degrees on Wednesday. We do fall back on Saturday around two in the morning, so be prepared for that. We'd have temperatures below average. We'd have a cold front move through on Wednesday into Thursday and Friday, and we have temperatures only in the upper 30s for Thursday and Friday. 